हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम डॉक्टर अमित भटनागर वर्किंग एज सीनियर रिसर्च ऑफिसर इन द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ एग्नॉमी एट जी बी पंत यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर एंड टेक्नोलॉजी पंत नगर उत्तराखंड व्हाट इज़ द रीज़न दैट न्यूट्रेंट एबिलिटी इज़ वेरी पुअर इन विंटर सीजन व्हेन वी सी द कंपेरिजन इन समर एंड विंटर सीजन इन जनरल न्यूट्रेंट एबिलिटी इज स्लो एंड पुअर टू प्लांट्स तो वट इज़ द रीज़न दैट वैन वी अप्लाई द फर्टिलाइजर देयर एबिलिटी इज लो एज कम्पेयर टू summer season so what are the scientific reasons we will discuss here actually we should know first of all how the nutrient is available to the plant so there are three means through which nutrient is available mass flow diffusion and root interception and contact exchange and out of these three two are important one mass flow mass flow and second one is diffusion this uh, these are the two important pathway and third one is root interception root directly intercept and take the nutrient from the soil colloid but the contribution of this root interception is very less uh, less than 1% or 2% that's why we do not consider uh, significantly so major one are mass flow and diffusion and in case of mass flow nutrient move along with the water so nutrient movement we can say uh, nutrient move uh, with water and in case of uh, diffusion nutrients uh, move through their kinetic energy through random motion so molecular motion is there molecule motion we can say uh, molecule random uh, thermal motion random thermal motion and through which uh, nutrient move from one place to another place and the distance is very short distance is short while in case of this mass flow distance is long because they are moving with the water so these uh, are the two important pathway and the important nutrient which move through diffusion are uh, uh, phosphorus uh, potassium uh, zinc and in case of mass flow nitrogen uh, sulfur these are the important uh, nutrient which uh, move through mass flow so most of the nutrient remain in the soil solution that's why they move through mass flow so diffusion is generally for phosphorus potassium and zinc so these are the uh, nutrient movement third one uh, the pathway or we can say the mechanism is the mineralization through which nutrients are released so mineralization this is responsible for nutrient release and these mechanism are responsible for nutrient availability so these mechanism are slightly different mass flow and diffusion decide how much nutrient is available to the plant root while mineralization decide how much nutrient is released into the soil solution which is available for mass flow and diffusion so first mineralization is there nutrient release is there then nutrient may move either through mass flow or diffusion so it means the two important uh, uh, mechanism number one nutrient availability for mass flow and uh, diffusion number two is a nutrient release means amount of nutrient so this is the path this is the flow through which nutrients are available and this is the amount so there are two uh, we can say important uh, things number one nutrient release through mineralization and mineralization means decomposition of organic matter decomposition of organic matter it decides the mineralization and temperature has influence on mineralization as well as on mass flow and diffusion so that's why uh, this temperature role is very important in nutrient availability and the plant growth and in winter season what happens in winter temperature is low and because of this uh, low temperature microbial activity is low why microbial activity is low in soil there are a number of microbes are there cyclophilic which uh, require a very less temperature mesophilic Which require medium temperature about 30 to 35 degrees centigrade. Thermophilic, which require very high uh, high temperature, 50, 60, 70. But most of the uh, 
bacteria or fungus or microbes require are mesophilic they require temperature about 30 to 35 or even 40 degree centigrade and they have maximum participation in organic matter decomposition so when temperature is low so maximum microbes have very low activity so microbial activity is very low that's why the mineralization activity is low so mineralization or we can say nutrient release is poor nutrient release is low so that's why the total ability of the nutrient in the soil solution is very low so this is the first uh, we can say impact of low temperature so the total quantity of the nutrient is low as compared to summer season in summer season temperature is high soil temperature is high Microbial activity is more, more activity of bacteria, fungus, actinomycetes, which take participates in decomposition of organic matter. So they have more maximum participation in decomposition. So nutrient release is there, mineralization is there. So more nutrient are available in the soil solution. Now, the another impact of temperature is that since temperature is low, so water movement because of low temperature molecular activity, we can say because of this low temperature a molecular a molecule activity we can say is low and all substances have very low molecular activity because of low temperature whether it is a iron whether it is a metal whether it is a, a soil or any particle molecule have very low activity at low temperature as the temperature increases their kinetic energy increases and their activity is more this is obvious this is a very simple process that at low temperature the things shrink because of low molecular activity molecules become close and at high temperature they move far away so molecular activity is more so in winter season because of low temperature this low molecular activity and because of this low molecular activity the movement of water is slow the water movement is not fast and the diffusion is slow so here mass flow and diffusion movement of water water movement and diffusion is slow uh, we, uh, we can slow so the availability to the plant root is low so that's why the nutrient availability is poor if we are applying the fertilizer for for example we are applying urea mop dap whatever fertilizer the dissolved in water but because of low temperature their movement in soil is very low because of low molecular activity so this is the mechanism because of low molecular activity which reduces the water movement and diffusion so that's why these processes are affected number one number two molecular activity uh, this microbial activity is low so nutrient release is slow so this is the another impact so this is the reason that uh, whether it is a nitrogen phosphorus zinc calcium magnesium availability is low in winter season when we compare with the summer season it is not like that the nutrients are not available they are available their release is slow their ability to the plant root is slow so that's why plant may suffer from this nutrient deficiency so how we can overcome such type of problem so we should uh, irrigate the field so that moisture is maintained water is maintained and this water also regulate the soil uh, temperature and become uh, the soil to uh, very cold so irrigation is necessary frequent irrigation which keeps soil temperature uh, maintain the soil temperature and secondly uh, apply the, uh, the uh, nutrient through foliar application so foliar spray uh, is good because uh, they directly absorbed by the leaves so frequent application of fertilizer and frequent uh, irrigation and the foliar nutrition and if temperature is low very low then um, uh, plant remain as such as the temperature increases the molecular activity increases Microbial activity increases and these nutrients become available to the plant. So don't worry if temperature is very low. So uh, plant growth is ceases, nutrient availability is poor and wait till the season become warm uh, and weather condition become warm then nutrient will be available to the plant. Till then uh, we should irrigate. Frequent irrigation is necessary to maintain the uh, temperature which regulate the nutrient release, microbial activity, mass flow and diffusion. So there is a major impact of uh, temperature on nutrient availability through mass flow diffusion as well as on nutrient release. So this is the reason that in winter season when we grow the crop, nutrient availability is low. But it is not like that the nutrient is not available. It is not like that. Nutrients are available. 
but their quantity and their we can say the uh, quantity and the flow rate and the availability rate is slow so that's why there may be deficiency of particular nutrient for example phosphorus deficiency is common in winter season because of very uh, low diffusion so this is the reason that why phosphorus deficiency is common in winter season so most of the crop uh, show phosphorus deficiency but uh, uh, this disorder to be removed when temperature is high then nutrient become available to the plant so this is the reason that in winter season nutrients availability is slow thank you very much